Now, Italy is one sexy country. Hey, their accents. Sexy. Their food. Sexy. Their wine. Sexy. Their women. Sexy. Even their pudding. Ah, oh, sexy. <laughs> and following on from the sexy pudding theme, we're going to make a tiramisu because GI blew up and Anna Banana 4656 have requested it. Now, we get lots of requests on YouTube and we battle to get through them all. Yeah, although we've kind of pushed this one forward a bit because it's an absolutely fantastic dessert. Tiramisu is heaven. Okay, now obviously we're gonna give it a usual sorted twist. We're gonna make it even easier. There's no raw egg yolk in it. And we're gonna slightly change the alcohol content, but we'll come to that in a minute. Ooh. So, tiramisu. Yes. Pick me up. That's what it translates to. No, 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 no. Carry on. Down. Right, okay. because it's got coffee, alcohol, and chocolate. Okay, so okay. it's got a real Ooh. kick to it. So the first thing we need to do is make our coffee. So just some instant coffee and some hot water, if you can stir I that can through. Make there we go. And I'm also gonna put in there, just a little bit of cold water so we can speed this along because you're going to have to stick your fingers in there in a minute. It's best not to burn. Does there we go. Hot coffee or? Uh, strong coffee. I think that's the important thing okay. in this one. So we've got some soft cheese, mascarpone there. If you can just whisk that up. Isn't that how you find a small horse? Masca <laughs> mascarpone. Brilliant. No, no comment. Some sugar. Just beat that into it, it's nice and smooth. And now this is where we're gonna take mm. the first step from the traditional route. The traditional route would use masala, but we're gonna use Di Serrano because oh, it's got good. a great almond flavor, it's nice and sweet. so many people, Ben. And it's my favorite. So a couple of shots of that. Yeah. Love mm. Di Serrano. And double cream. Mm. Ready? I'm gonna still get it. That's gonna go in there. And you want a nice smooth mix and keep whisking it until it's about the consistency of really thick double cream. Cool, and now the layering process, mm -hmm. I mean that's pretty much all the steps done, it's just now about constructing it. It's such a simple dessert. Now we're gonna make this in a cappuccino mug because it's small, it's individual, looks kind of nifty. Like okay, it. but you can layer in absolutely anything, a big bowl, and then just take scoops of it out, or a glass. Is it kind of like an Italian trifle? Yeah. So you it's sponge and cream kind of mixed together. Anything in a mug you do. <laughs> anything that we're going to make. Cake in a mug, mug. works, isn't it? <laughs> So, first of all, let's get a nice big spoon. I'm just going to put a dollop of our mascarpone cream mix in the bottom. Mm. And then we need to take these lovely sponge fingers, dunk them in the coffee, ah. so they soak up that strong coffee flavour. Now this reminds me of a, uh, a common dilemma. How long do you dunk your biscuit, bis biscuits? Basket? Biscuits for. Uh, the last thing you want is a soggy biscuit. So, we'll pop those in there. He did one. He did one all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a layer of our biscuit in there. Mm -hmm. Now we put spoon some more of the cream mix on top. Yep. Just enough to cover it. We want to get about three layers in this. Perfect, that'll do. And then just shake it down, mm -hmm. just to kind of fill up the gaps. And then another layer. So if you keep on layering those up, yep. more sponge. Chef, what would you like me to do? You can dunk with him, that's absolutely fine. You dunk, I'll cream. We'll go dunking together. The other top tip, if you do alternate layers, so one time you go left to right and then go up and down, so you get a sort of crisscross. Like Jenga. Just like Jenga, there we go, another Jenga reference. Perfect, now go on, whoa, whoa. Oh, right. Okay. Remember our layers, so each time you want another Terribly layer of creamy goodness. Now, you don't have to put our amaretto in there, it can be any alcohol you like, brandy works well. Yeah, another layer. Are you sure? Yeah, on the opposite way. No, 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 Okay. Such a simple dessert, a few things whisked together and then layered up. Really you can of course make it without the alcohol, if you want just the coffee mm. and the sugar, but I think you need all three pick-me-ups if you ask me. So that's fine, we've got three layers in there. You'll have to eat that one. Mm. So there's our final layer. And now for the last and third pick-me-up, mm. our chocolate, so a really strong dark chocolate. And I think we'll go with the S theme. Just mm. sit that on top, great over there. Okay. We'll get the perfect sorted S. Loads of chocolate. Oh yeah, great job. You happy that, Ben? Looking good to me. And then, well, we'll soon find out. The test is when we take the stencil off. And we have oh. our very own sorted S. Let me just wipe clean that edge. And there it is. For GI Blue Up and Anna Banana 4656, the ultimate tiramisu, sorted. Oh. Those, those are serious pick me up. That is going to take you to heaven. Oh, yeah. Save some for the other guys. I'm, I'm not as deep tonight. Tastes so good in my mouth.